Shalom, my young. Peace be unto you, my family. What's good? Louis Misery speaking. This is not Aksham. This is Louis Misery. <laughs> I'm about to get y'all the history of real Judah, okay? We about to speak on some issues. And after I address it, I get it off my chest. May the most high bless it. Because we done talking after this. Um, and I've been authorized to get the history. So y'all don't think that Shad and Peasy co-sign, they co-sign. Um, yeah, man. So let me talk about my brothers, man. Because I feel offended. Um, so Shad and P came into this truth however they came into this truth. I think Shad came into this truth by a brother. Uh, Peasy came in this truth by Shad. And uh, they both went to go study with GOCC Dallas. All right? GOCC Dallas. They go down there. They try to study with the brothers. They say they got to pay for classes. Both of them paid for classes. But hold on. That's not the offense. Uh, the brothers in GOCC Dallas find out that Shad and Peasy do music. So now they're not trying to teach no more. They want them to do music. They want them to be performers now. They say, hey, y'all come down here, do a free show every week. We get more people in here. But hold on, that's not the offense. They coming on the Shabbat trying to learn. These brothers trying to talk about the music business. On the Shabbat. No business on the Shabbat. But hold on, that's not the offense. So after these brothers, you know, come try to learn for however many weeks they did, They've been trying to get baptized the whole time. These brothers say, well, y'all got to wait, man. I don't know if they told them it's a waiting list or what. But the point is, they telling people that's trying to get baptized and usher in a rebirth that they got to wait. What scripture is that? And that's my offense, too. You feel what I'm saying? So when my brothers come to me and tell me that, they told them that they got to wait. That's a story that I've heard before. Because I baptized a lot of people here in Atlanta. A lot of people here in Atlanta that came up from Alabama. That came up from Louisiana. Came all the way from Argentina. To get baptized. Because they didn't want to wait. They didn't want to fill out a whole bunch of information. That has nothing to do with getting baptized. You feel what I'm saying? So... When brothers in GOCC Dallas come to Shot and Peas and say, hey, man, we want to manage y'all. Let GOCC manage y'all. They say, nah. The most high is our manager. The higher managers. And other than that, we do our own thing. But the original statement was, Shot said, let's keep the music separate. I just want to come here to learn. Don't worry about what I do in my music. You feel what I'm saying? But they couldn't do that. They couldn't handle that. So when Shad and Peasy left, now real Judah starts getting drugged through the mud. You see how that happened? But remember the prime root of this all started from not being able to get baptized. All started from brothers trying to do business when other brothers trying to learn. You feel me? So then what happened? Once the names start getting drugged through the mud... This thing happened uh, in Georgia. They had this show down here in Georgia. Shot and Peasy wasn't even there. But see, when Elder Ricard made that video saying that, you know, the brothers down here in Georgia did the concert with the GOCC banner, he didn't like it because it made him look uh, more hood or more ghetto than he wanted GOCC to look. So he made that video stating that, basically. Uh, a lot of people agreed with it. Some people disagreed with it. There was a big fall off from GOCC. But what happened, the ones that stayed with GOCC, who sided with Elder Ricard, who agreed with him, they start making diss tracks to the brothers that Elder Ricard was talking about. So when Elder Ricard made that statement, say, uh, and what is this Hebrew hood music? Righteous to Hebrew hood music. You knew exactly who he was talking about. He's talking about real Judah. Now, why you taking shots at real Judah? Real Judah ain't says your name, man. Real Judah ain't did nothing to you, man. We brothers trying to get baptized, man. 
But now, because they didn't sign up under GOCC, now we got to shoot them down. We got to drag them through the mud. You can't call on a high end not be under GOCC. Since when? Who said that GOCC got a monopoly on the name Ohio? Because, see, when I linked up with the brother Shad and P, I knew the name Ohio, but not through GOCC. See, I stay in Atlanta. I went to GOCC Atlanta, linked up with them a couple times. Let me say this, too. I didn't have that problem with GOCC Atlanta. When I told them I wanted to come get baptized, came through once, came through twice, maybe. I, I paid. I, I put some money in the basket for them. You feel what I'm saying? But they didn't make me wait too long, you know. So, hey. You know, that's a whole nother issue. You feel what I'm saying? So when we have an issue with one city, the whole GOCC take offense as if we said something about GOCC New York. I ain't never been to GOCC New York. I don't know about them brothers or GOCC Cali. I don't know about the brothers in GOCC Cali. You feel what I'm saying? This offense happened with the ones that was in Dallas, the ones that was in Texas. All right. So now when the brothers start siding with Elder Ricard, I start hearing people that's making diss tracks to my brother's real Judah. Uh, and the, and the thing that's so sad about it, if you go back and listen to Righteous One, back when everybody thought that Shot and Peasy was a part of GLCC, it was all love. You know, they was doing songs with Brother Bronze. Uh, you listen to Peasy's song that uh, 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 I got your back. You know what I'm saying? Always standing by you, by your side. He said, uh, even Quadam and his ox. He's talking about Quadam Ricard. You feel what I'm saying? He said, his ox, I know they got me. Karata Zah Akkad, yeah, that Judah got me, you know, and I got them too. The arms, legs, the head, the body too. You feel me? That's what Peasy said. But then the pe the same people that he named, Bronze, Quadam, Karata Zah, they all start making diss tracks and saying, yeah, real Judah, y'all wrong because Elder Carr said so. And I don't even know if they knew the whole story or not. Maybe Quadam did. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't know if Karate's idea. Maybe he did, too. Maybe Bronze did. You feel what I'm saying? Because, see, you know, it's a scripture in Matthew 18 that say, you know, if there's a fence with your brother, take it to him one-on-one. -on -one. And then if you don't hear him from one-on-one, -on -one, bring another one or two with you so that he going to be accountable for his words. And if he don't hear those one or two, then bring it to the church. And if he, the church, if he, if he can't hear it from the church, then he's accounted as a publican, as a heathen man. You know, you are, you, you read the scripture. You feel what I'm saying? So don't say that, you know, oh, we never took it to them face to face because that's not the case. It was taken to them face to face. You feel what I'm saying? But instead of a solution uh, coming from the problem, they started adding more fire to the flames. So instead of. Instead of building and finding out what the root problem of the situation was, they want to start making diss tracks. They don't listen to real Judah because real Judah ain't real. And I've been in real Judah for a while now, so now I'm taking offense too. Because when you drag their name through the mud, you dragging my name through the mud. We brothers. We all supposed to be brothers, so why is the hate going on anyway? But that just lets you know that some people ain't as real as they say they are. You feel what I'm saying? Some people talk a good talk on them tracks, but they not really about what they be rapping about. Even in the truth. And that's sad. We supposed to be trying to wake people up, spread the truth, spread the message. We the Jews, we the chosen people. Follow these law statutes and commandments, heal the land. That's what we really supposed to be talking about. But if it don't come from you or your church, you want to shoot that brother down. And that's wrong. That's wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Since Real Judah been action, um, man, we've been able to cross barriers and lines that camps can't cross. We've been able to build with brothers that don't call on the higher. We've been able to build with brothers who never even knew anything about, man, why do y'all even call on that name? What's wrong with the YHWH? What's up with the four letters? Y'all tell me. You feel what I'm saying? Because I listen to y'all. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't have people that say, oh, you talking about that Hebrew Israelite stuff? No, oh, no, I don't mess with that. You see what I'm saying? Now, because a certain camps, all of these camps, man, ISUPK, IUIC, GLCC, GMF, you feel what I'm saying? They all bring some type of truth, but the way that you present it makes people run away from it. You feel what I'm saying? So now, when I talk to a sister in my car, she say, oh, you ain't talking about that Hebrew Israelite mess, are you? I say, no, nah, I'm real Judah. She said, okay, I'll check out Real Judah, but I don't know about that Hebrew Israelite stuff. Ain't that messed up? Ain't that messed up? You feel what I'm saying? So now when Real Judah start to gain momentum, y'all want to shoot the brothers down? Why? Why? 
because you wouldn't give them a baptism and they told somebody and they really ain't even tell. They might drop some lines and say, I didn't want no position. I just wanted baptism. This can't be Hebrew wisdom. I ain't come for schisms. You feel me? That's the only stuff that was said. He could have called out your name, Ricard. He could have said that, but we didn't even come like that. You feel what I'm saying? We came from a place of humility, man. You feel what I'm saying? But y'all want to come from a place of puffed upness. You feel what I'm saying? So here's my question, man, because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, we could talk all day about this. My question is this, man. All the people that's, you feel what I'm saying, with the church is GLCC, gathering the Christ church. You feel what I'm saying? This ain't even got nothing to do with y'all like that. Please don't take offense. You feel what I'm saying? But if you ask your elder and your elder say, yeah, we do got a waiting list, waiting list on baptisms, ask them what's that about. You feel what I'm saying? When, 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 when you're trying to learn and the gospel is given freely, but they taxing you out the who knows what, ask them what's that about, man. And if you down to pay like I was, like Shot and Peasy was, we all pay money. You feel what I'm saying? For some kind of way or another. But then ask them why they throw us under the, under the bus when we decide to leave their church. It wasn't no love lost between brethren. It wasn't no love lost between fellowship. We still tried to be cool till we start hearing people busting shots and say, oh, I guess they decided they was going to bust shots first because they thought that that's what we was going to do since we supposed to be ends. Shaking our dreads and looking like ends. I believe that's what Elder Ricard said. You feel what I'm saying? And that's tough, man. That hurt people's feelings, man. Especially when we in this mug for the truth. We ain't in this mug to be no show. We ain't in this mug to try to steal money out your pockets. We ain't trying to take your fan base. You feel what I'm saying? We just being obedient to what the Most High gave us to do. So what's up with that, man? That's my question. Now, I don't want no argument. I don't want no, no confusion. I don't want no stumbling blocks. I just want some people to, to actually answer for all of this stuff that's being said, all of these accusations that's being thrown around. And I don't think anybody know what really happened. So this is the time for real Judah to speak up. Please come holler at me. It's Louis Misery, Aksham, Shamawa Ali Yahawada. You know what it is, man. You know ain't nobody playing over here. We all trying to build. Gather yourself together. Old oh, nation, not desire. You ain't desire. I ain't desire. Why can't we link up? There's so much stuff going on out here. People getting shot down. People trying to protest. People trying to live. People trying to die. But you would rather come against a brother that's trying to on the same mission as you. Do we not serve the same power, the same Allah, Hayim, or Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? So why are we coming against each other? Please answer me that. Please. Until then, it's Louis Misery, Real Judah, Kwam Yasha Allah, Rise Remix, Team Strong. This the awakening, them 12 tribes of Israel. We shaking off them curses, man. You know what it is. Follow the law, statutes, and commandments, the LSEs, and that's how you heal the land. When you live lawless, the world is lawless. When you follow the law, the world follows the law. This whole thing was placed and put into commands by the Most High. When the world do what he say, y'all do what he say, we good. The LSEs heal the land. Shalom.